Hello, I'm Andrew Harvey. I'm a psychotherapeutic counsellor based here in Nottingham and I also see clients online. In this brief video today, I'm going to talk about how someone might be supported in counselling to make some changes around their relationship with alcohol. A counsellor can help in a number of ways. They can help you have a space to explore the nature of the issue so you can get to how things really, really are for you with your relationship with alcohol. They might explore with you where you want to be with alcohol and whether that's possible. So for some clients, a reduction in their consumption and having a better relationship with alcohol is absolutely possible and a therapist might explore that option with you. For some people, they decide that actually a good relationship with alcohol is one of abstinence and they can't actually drink in a way that would be okay for them and a counsellor might help you work towards that. How you achieve those goals, either a better relationship with alcohol or abstinence can include relapse prevention, behavioural change strategies, sort of finding ways to do things differently with alcohol and a therapist can help you do that. An example of this might be how you negotiate social situations, what's that going to be like and how planning might help etc. This is sometimes called uh, relapse prevention and maintenance of behavioural change. Some of the work for people with regards to issues with alcohol is to get to the root of the problem. That is, what is the alcohol being used for? Or what was it used for a while ago? And is there better ways of dealing with that? So this might be past trauma. This might be grief. It might be stress. It might be the lack of meaningful relationships. It can be a number of different issues. And for some people, it's very important to address those and find some healing around them, find some better ways possibly and healthier ways to deal with those issues. And by doing so, that can really help people move forward in a positive way. They no longer need the alcohol for that purpose. I often talk about alcohol being the medicine against some people's pain, you know, their emotional pain or their stress or physical pain or life pains, but that medicine often turns into a bit of a poison itself and, and it stops working and becomes an issue itself. So we address the issue itself and also what was that medicine being used for? Therapy can be really helpful for that. There are those around people who are struggling with alcohol that sometimes are affected by that person's drinking and counselling can be helpful for that too. It can provide you a space to get some support, possibly explore ways of dealing with the current situation and find some space for you and some safety to explore how you're going to move forward with your friend, colleagues, partners drinking too and what you need to do. So that can be another positive that counselling can offer with regards to alcohol issues. If you are struggling with alcohol or you're struggling with someone else's alcohol use, I would really encourage you to possibly look at the counselling as an option. Uh, it helps many, many people and change is absolutely possible. I really wish you well.